Hey y'all, hey, it's Veronica here with the Coffee Drinking Shopping Mama. Welcome to the channel. If you are new, grab a coffee, hang out with me. I have my hot coffee. I love it so much. I oftentimes get asked about this mug. I found this mug on clearance for 99 cents several, several months ago at a Hobby Lobby and I absolutely love it. I think it is so cute, but today I have a thrift store haul for you. Um, majority of it is clothes, kids clothes in it. I have some retail arbitrage or clearance finds for you. Um, if you don't really know what, if you hear people say retail arbitrage and you're like, what is that? It's basically when you go to stores, you find things on clearance or just really cheap prices and then you resell them um, for hopefully a little bit of a profit. So I have some of that here for you today. Um, so let's just get right into it. And like I said, I am a full-time mom, so my daughter is here with me. If you hear little um, crazy noises in the background, she's like right off camera over there doing some arts and crafts. Um, the first, the only thrift store that I thrifted at uh, for this haul, the kids' clothes are $3 and less otherwise marked. Now, I was there for a really long time trying to find things that were just $3, not otherwise marked, because most things are marked up like seven, eight dollars, things like that. Um, but I did find some good things that are just three dollars. So the first thing I found is this little girl's blouse. It is by Nina Joy in a size 10. Now, I've never heard of Nina Joy, but uh, it was three bucks and it's like almost in perfect condition. And I thought for spring and summer coming up that this shirt was just absolutely adorable. I love the colors in it, the flowers. Uh, it was just $3. Go ahead. All right. The next little girl shirt I found is by Lily Blue. Also a uh, brand I've never heard of, but it was just $3 and in excellent condition. It is a size large 14 and I thought it, it too is absolutely adorable. It's got little bows up here on the shoulders. It's like a nautical little uh, sailboaty anchor shirt, you know, off the shoulder with the bows. Um, really stinking cute. I list most items for sale on Facebook, eBay, and Poshmark, and I will list them down below. Uh, if you see something you like, let me know. And this was one of the shirts I paid up for, but only by a dollar. It was just four dollars because it is a Nike dry fit Nike golf shirt for little boys and it was $4, but again, it looks to be in perfect condition. I didn't see anything wrong with it. Little cute collared shirt. I may even keep this for my son. He doesn't play golf. It's a size medium, um, but it's just a nice polo shirt. Um, we'll see if I decide to keep it. He's got a lot of clothes, but sometimes, you know, you like to keep things for your own kids. Um, this here, I did also pay up for uh, $4 as well. So just one more dollar. And I just wish they wouldn't mark it right on the clothes. Like I'm going to try to get these out, the ones that I'm going to sell, but I just don't like that they mark it right on the clothes. But anyway, it's a Nike hoodie. And also I tried to make sure while I was in the store, nothing had ripped hole stains, anything like that. But my daughter is always with me. Um, so it's a little hard to really, you know, scrutinize things but I just like this and I feel like, I feel like Nike sells really good. It's got the kangaroo pouch down there on the bottom. So that was a good one. And then the same for this one here. Now I am seeing uh, one or two snags here that I didn't see in the store, uh, but this is an Under Armour girls hoodie. I paid $6 for it. It is a size large. Um, my thing right now, just starting out, I would like to, at the minimum, double my money on what I paid for these. So I will ask 15 for this. So that's double plus a little bit, you know what I mean? Um, so it's really pretty. It's, I love this color. It's an Under Armour hoodie with little polka dots on the front, another little kangaroo pouch, and the polka dots do carry around onto the back. So I thought it was it's really pretty. Um, so yeah, $6 for that one. This was three and it looks to be in really good condition as well. It is a long sleeve Reebok size medium for girls, but um, it's that thin, you know, like, what is that material? Like active material, but it says girl power awesome. So 
very cute again didn't see anything wrong with it paid three dollars uh this is just a little under armor sleeveless tank for boys also paid three dollars didn't see any visible wear or tear on that one i got several of those i'm thinking about putting them together in a lot um it might sell faster and for more if i lot them together we'll see i'm gonna still learning things um this was one of my favorite finds i don't know it's a magellan fishing shirt it's a girl shirt it's classic fit it says fish gear it's a size medium moisture wicking maybe that's the material i was thinking of but it looks like brand new i know um my family down south likes magellan a lot they I wonder if the girls want for me but these are too big for you baby these are the ones i'm gonna sell but we got you some new clothes the other day <laughs> um so it says magellan outdoor up here but uh and it has these cute 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 anchors on the sleeves and i mean it looks brand new but like i was saying before my daughter was asking me a question i know my family uh down in louisiana does a lot of hunting and fishing and they like that brand i had never heard of it until they started talking about it so i thought okay i'll pick this up for three dollars this is just another tank that was three dollars it's nike uh, it says dry fit you know boys sleeveless and it looks to be in good condition there's one tiny 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 spot right there but i'm not sure it looks like a pencil honestly so i might just be able to wipe that right off other than that i didn't see anything wrong with it um this is another brand that i'm not familiar with but i looked it up on poshmark and it seems to do okay it's vineyard vines surprisingly these were not marked up they were just three dollars i love the color so it's just boys pants um they are a size eight so again i didn't see any visible wear or tear other than i don't know sometimes you don't know about color like is this the color supposed to be was it brighter is it a little bit faded it doesn't look like it to me but i thought they were really really cute for three dollars and i was trying to look for you know different uh brands there was a little a ton of old navy love you too <laughs> there was a ton of old navy and cat and jack and i was trying to not i just don't feel like that would probably resell very well you know what i mean all right another under armor uh t-shirt this is heat gear uh compression boy size medium also was three dollars just a basic t there so that's the front and the back so again that was three bucks um this one was three dollars it's uh nfl medium uh 10 12 for boy or i guess it could be a boy or a girl but it was Steelers. It looked in really good condition. I don't care anything about like the Steelers or too much football, really. I watch it every now and then. I watch the um, New Orleans Saints because I'm from Louisiana. I started watching the Cowboys a little bit because that's what everybody around us watches now that we are in <laughs> Texas. That is so pretty. You're so a good artist. Wow. Thank you. Thanks for sharing. Um, so I just got it because it's three dollars. Looks like in brand new, and I know the Steelers are very a very popular uh, team. So I picked it up. Then I picked these Gap pants up. They're corduroy. Uh, also, they were just three dollars. So they look to be in really good condition. I love corduroy. <laughs> like such a throwback, right? Um, I don't know how well Gap actually resells, but. These do look like they're in really good condition. I think, did I say what size? They're a size 12 uh, Gap Kids, so corduroy pants. Um, and I got this little leotard. I was hoping that it would fit my daughter, but it's too small. She does uh, gymnastics, but it's just, it was $3, and it's just a cute little uh, leotard here. Uh, absolutely nothing wrong with it. I wasn't sure of the brand. The brand is... Um, more than magic and it's an extra small four or five there so more than magic um these sell for about 15 16 dollars oh, it's um a target brand actually but it's still really cute I only paid three dollars for it even if i sell it for six that's double my money which i would be totally fine with uh at this point like again learning and i'm not gonna keep saying that i probably am gonna keep saying that just saying i don't know babe 
Um, this is a Nike boys size small uh, dry fit. Again, didn't see any visible wear. It was also $3. I think I might have already showed everything that wasn't $3. I think it was just two items I picked up that were four. So, um, so yeah, it has like mesh up here on the shoulders, you know, for heat, if it's hot. I don't know if you can really see that. Um, this is Bobby Brooks. Uh, it's a, a set. I don't know Bobby Brooks. Extra small, size four or five. And it has the little shirt, the little fox on it. And it has the matching pants. It does look, I don't know, it looks, the pants look a little bit worn. Um, but it's a really cute little outfit, right? So that's just another Under Armour. Like I said, might lock those other ones up. Just the Under Armour sleeveless. You know, okay. <laughs> it was three bucks. And the last one of these was three dollars. And I think this these are really good. This is Under Armour uh, Girls Large Loose Fitting Pants. And they seem to be in really good condition. I'm honestly surprised these weren't marked up. Um, kind of like jogger style pants. So got zipper pockets and the pockets say Under Armour on it as well, which I like. And then the back, I mean, I don't see, like I said, I don't see any visible wear on these. So again, I'll have my eBay, my Poshmark, all that listed down below. Now I'm going to get into what I picked up at retail stores, this is Kohl's, Ross, and Walmart, mostly Walmart. So I found this Dallas Cowboys puzzle uh, from Walmart. It was on clearance for, she almost spilled my coffee. <laughs> oh, well, let's get a drink. Everybody take a break. Uh, she's rolling around my, on the floor over here because she doesn't have my undivided attention, which is not normal for uh you know, us. So it was half off at $5.49. It's usually 10. So I don't know if this will be a good flip or whatever, like, because it's only like half off. So if I sold yeah. it for 10, I'm going to give it a try. So Dallas Cowboys puzzle. Um, if you watched my shorts, you saw these, I picked them up. I went to Ross hoping to find some good clearance because lots of people were posting about like 49 cents uh, clearances, but I didn't find any, but I did find uh, these Duke Cannon men's conditioner. They were $1.50. I have already sold one of these. It'll be in my what's sold video. It should be coming up soon if it's not already up. Um, but at that time, I paid the $5.49 clearance. There's a sticker under there. And it sold for about $10. So now I have two for $1.50. So I'm going to try to sell those. But it's Energizing Blend Menthol and Peppermint um, Conditioner for Men. This smells so good. So I got both of those. Those are the only two things that are from Ross. I'm just kind of pulling out of this bag here. So that's why I might flip around. Um, this is from Kohl's. So if you saw my Kohl's shop with me, this was the only thing I picked up. It was originally $34.99. It was on sale for $17.49 and I had a $5 off coupon. So with tax, I paid about $13 for the Star Wars Unlock the Escape game. So pretty cool. Uh, back to Walmart. This is a gaming mouse. I only bought one, although there was several of them uh, for $6, original 20. So it just looks like that. I thought it was a pretty cool looking gaming mouse. I don't know anything about electronics, but I picked up one of those. Um, these actually, I forgot that they were in here. I picked this set up at TJ Maxx a few months ago and just stuck it in this bag. These were on clearance for $2. It is Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas spatula set. So just $2 for these. I figure I'll list them now and wait and see what happens. Or just, I have a little box where I'm putting things to list like around Thanksgiving, Christmas time. So I'll either list these now or wait you know, out until there. This was a really good find. Hopefully it'll be a really good resell. I don't know. This was originally $68.88. It was on sale at half price at $34.44. It is the Revlon One Step Volumizer Plus, um, what is this? Skeleton. <laughs> Not skeleton, maybe like, um, brush, like hairbrush, volumizing, 
hairbrush, electrical hairbrush. <laughs> wow, I'm gonna sell the mess out of this. I can't even say what it is. So one of those, I just picked up one. There was only like one or two in the store at the time for sale. I picked these two up um, to also try to resell. I don't know, it's something for fishing. And I got two of them. <laughs> they were on sale for $4. They originally were 12 bent jaws for easy hook removal. Okay, so ring, ring splitting. So, okay, men and women, because not only men fish, men and women need these for when they go fishing, I guess, to remove the hooks or something. I don't know. I need to research more. Um, and then the last two things I got. That was loud. Um are these i did notice they seem to sell pretty decently over on ebay um it's the gillette venus uh like replacing replaceable blades i got two of them um they are usually 15 dollars, and they were on clearance for six so uh i got two i'll probably lock them up and sell them together okay that is everything in this haul today i hope you have enjoyed hanging out with me seeing what i purchased uh, if you did, please give the video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you happen to be new, which I think most people are by now, still a little bit new. Um, and we'll definitely see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.